we discovered how crisis works. And crisis is the last barrier for human cells before they become cancer cells. So usually what happens in human normal cells is when they grow, their telomeres become shorter every time the cells divide. And telomeres are the natural ends of human chromosomes and they have a certain length. Every time the cell divides, these telomeres become shorter and that limits the number of times the cells can divide. Thereby, the telomeres represent a powerful clock in our cells. So what we discovered is that during crisis, the telomeres become critically short and that causes the cell division process to become extended. The cell division process, when two cells come out of one cell is called mitosis and that usually in a normal cell takes about 30 to 45 minutes. We found that during crisis this cell division process takes up to 20 or 25 hours. What is happening during this extended mitosis is that the telomeres become deprotected. What that means is that the telomeres, which are usually not recognized as DNA breaks, become recognized as DNA breaks. That signals to the cells and that causes the cells to die. This process is essential to prevent uh, cancer formation because cells that approach crisis already have critically short telomeres and if they would not die at this point during the, by this crisis process that is governed by telomere deprotection, cells would emerge with an unstable genome and these cells would actually be cancer cells. Thereby, crisis is a powerful tumor suppressive mechanism. Mitotic duration has been prominently exploited by chemotherapy because drugs like Taxol and Taxol derivatives actually cause an elongation of the cell division process, an elongation of mitosis. What we discovered is that telomere deprotection actually sensitizes cells to these drugs which might be exploitable in the future.